please stand for the national anthem performed by Ceres High School senior Paige Adams. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the So gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, keep root through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangle? I'm Rita Menezes, principal of Ceres High School, and I'm pleased to welcome you to tonight's ceremony. Thank you, Paige, for that wonderful rendition of the national anthem. At this time, I would like to recognize some of our distinguished guests in our view viewing audience. Board President Mike Welsh, Board Clerk Betty Davis, and Board Members Valley White, Lourdes Perez, Faye Lane, Hugo Molina, and Brian Delaporte. Representing Ceres Unified School District, Superintendent Scott Siegel, Deputy Superintendent of Personnel Services, Denise Wickham, Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services, Amy Peterman, Assistant Superintendent of Business Services, Dan Pangrazio, and Assistant Superintendent of Student Support Services, Jay Simmons. To begin our program tonight, we have this year's ASB President, Eileen Perez. Family, friends, teachers, faculty, and board members. It is an honor and pleasure to be able to welcome you all today to this commencement ceremony on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. Familia, amigos, maestros, y miembros de la Junta. Es un honor y un placer poder darles la bienvenida en este día de la ceremonia de graduación para la clase del 2020. I am very happy to say that we finally made it. Four years later, and we finally find ourselves in this position. I know this wasn't how we expected our senior year to go down, but like my dad always told me, lo que no te pueden celebrar ahorita es porque hay algo mejor preparado para ti en el futuro. Meaning that what couldn't be celebrated now is because there is something better planned out for your future. I know that without the constant help and support from our teachers, staff, administration, friends, and especially our parents and family, we would not be where we are now. So on behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank you all for all the support we've been given these last four years. Thanks to your constant support and guidance, we have finally reached the end of this chapter of our lives. At this time, I would also like to give a personal thank you to my family. Papi, Jesse, Karen, y Angel. Gracias. Gracias por siempre estar a mi lado y por apoyarme en todo lo que hago. Gracias por ser mi inspiración y motivación para seguir adelante. Over these last four years, I've had the great pleasure to meet many amazing people. Thanks to them, my high school experience has been unforgettable, and I know many of you can relate. 
I took the liberty to ask some of the seniors what they will take with them after these last four years. This is what they told me. High school definitely had its ups and downs, but at the end of the day, we all learned who we wanted to be. I've learned to just be myself and take risks. Don't do what others want to do. Do what you want to do for yourself. And of course, it's a great day to be a Bulldog. Lastly, to my fellow classmates and peers, we know how far we've come and you should all be proud of that. We know what we struggled with to get here and all our hard work has finally paid off. When you look back to your high school years, remember all the fun you had and the memories you created with the people you met. To the graduating class of 2020, I wish you all, all the happiness and success in the world. I truly wish and hope you guys accomplish each and every one of your goals and dreams and that you all live blessed lives. Thank you for allowing me the honor of being your ASB president. Thank you all for joining us today on this very special day to us graduates. Please enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Now, I would like to introduce our 2020 senior class president, Brandon Lopez. Thank you, Eileen. I want to thank everyone who is watching this recording and truly wish I could be delivering this in person. My name is Brandon Lopez and I am the 2020 senior class president. This year's graduating class is one of many firsts. The first class of a new decade, the first class to learn about 9-11 as a historical event, and the first class to have a virtual graduation. Yes, class of 2020 is as unique as it will ever get, and a virus is not going to rob us of all our accomplishments. I know the whole COVID-19 situation is still hard to fathom, but we should focus on what's in store for all of us. Today's focus is not this pandemic, but rather class of 2020. I would also love to thank our amazing teachers and staff for all they have done and continue to do for the class of 2020. The administration at Ceres High School has always been phenomenal and once again proved this with their efforts during this pandemic. Speaking on behalf of the seniors, thank you for giving us this opportunity to walk the stage in our caps and gowns. A few months back, with the help of a few seniors, we created Class of 2020's model. You don't have to live anybody else's story, living your own 2020 vision. No matter what's happening around us, we must remember to always stay in our lane and follow what we believe in. Whether that be a goal or a dream, never lose sight of it. When you think you're about to give up, push through because your heart is still gripping onto those visions even though you might not be. For this year's class gift, the seniors are going to donate money towards a fund that will allow the electronic sign near student parking lot to operate properly at all times and eventually convert it into a full color display. This could have not been done without the fundraising efforts from class of 2020. In addition, I would like to thank my senior class officers for all their hard work, our past class advisors, the Durazits, our current class advisors, Mrs. McGill and Mr. Vetter for allowing our vision to come alive. I would also like to thank Mrs. Hamasaki for putting up with their class and Mrs. Grant for picking up an already great leadership program and turning it into an even better leadership program. A los padres de familia, les quiero dar las gracias por todo lo que han hecho por sus estudiantes. Sinceramente, lo agradecemos. To my parents, I want to thank the both of you for always wanting the best for me and your unconditional love and support throughout my life. Todo lo que hacen pa es para mí, pero hoy esto es para ustedes. To my seniors, I want to thank each and every one of you for allowing me to be your class president these past three years and represent you all. It has been a huge honor and pleasure. Whatever you may do, never forget the memories you created at Ceres High School. And remember, it's a great day to be a Bulldog. Without further ado, I would like to introduce the Class of 2020's Salutatorian, Mark Razzo. Okay. Thank you, Brandon, friends since elementary school. And hello. Welcome teachers, parents, staff, and my fellow classmates to this little more than unusual circumstance we have found ourselves in. 
In a normal ring of events, this speech would have encompassed me talking about all the experiences we loved, shared, and ultimately might have despised in regards to our senior year. Unfortunately, those memories were cut short due to a literal pandemic that came our way. Lucky us. However, despite this unfortunate event, I'd like to say that we did have a decent senior year. If you exclude second semester, that is. We got to experience our last first day of high school, fall and winter homecoming, and actually that's about it. But in that short time that we had, we experienced it together. And although these past few months were filled with online Zoom classes and an unnecessary amount of online assignments, it was and still is our sense of togetherness that bonds us in a way that prom and senior ditch day never could. Of course, it is sad that we missed out on those traditional occasions, but those occasions were thrown out the window the minute we got to experience history. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one. But thanks to our strong friendships, supportive staff, and loving parents, we have been able to endure this unfortunate circumstance while in the prime of our youth. When we have children of our own, we'll recall the times we had to attend school despite the outbreak of a deadly world virus and the reason for why they don't want to go to school will not be excusable. Truth be told, we don't deserve this, but it happened to us anyway. We can only be thankful for the things we did get to experience. And although each one of our high school experiences was different, we will look back at the same place, Sirius High School. I will surely remember this school, not only as a place where I had a fight to take six AP classes my senior year, or the place where I found out many people don't like me. I will remember this place where I fought through the struggle of being a first-generation Mexican-American student and met some of my best friends, shout out to Emily, and I, would know, and I know that I will cherish these people in my heart as I ventured down my path at one of the best universities in the country, UC Berkeley. Y para mi familia, que me apoyó incondicionalmente toda mi vida, yo dedico este discurso a ustedes, los que siempre empujaron hacia mi máximo potencial, no importa dónde vaya ni dónde esté, Yo siempre los tendré en mi corazón. Los amo. Y para mi comunidad hispana, yo soy la prueba viviente de que en verdad sí se puede. El futuro es latino y el futuro es nuestro. Tenemos una voz en este mundo y sí será escuchada. I am deeply proud of you all, my fellow classmates. Wherever you may go, I know it was not easy for you to get there. I wish you all the absolute best and I hope to see you all again in a new world in the future. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Class of 2020's valedictorian. You know her as the girl who doesn't sleep. Please welcome Gurmanjit Baya. Thank you, Mark, for the lovely introduction. Welcome faculty, friends, family, and my fellow classmates of the Class of 2020. My name is Gurmanjit Baya, and I am extremely honored to be presented with the opportunity to speak today. Though virtual, this date continues to hold great significance in each and every one of our lives as a symbol of years and years of education, adversity, and triumph. Alas, our senior year concluded too soon. We were unable to partake in our senior trip, prom, or even attain all of our graduation regalia. But the memories and moments that we experienced together will truly last us a lifetime. We will forever cherish the sports events rallies and dances that we attended. We will forever recall the moments we spent together in classes together in the pursuit of greater knowledge, knowledge that will prove vital in our future. We will miss the many faculty members within Sears High that were filled with support, love and compassion. Thank you for staying countless hours after school, supporting our every need and ensuring that we garnered a proper understanding. Thank you for continually caring and being dependable sources of guidance and example. For them, our success is equivalent to their success. To our families, where would we be without you? Mere words can't express our appreciation for continually aiding us through each of our endeavors and working day and night for our needs. To my parents and siblings, thank you for all your support and for putting up with my coffee craze and constant ranting. I'm so beyond grateful for the virtues of humbleness, humility, and kindness that you embedded within me. I hope to make you proud one day. High school is just a single step within the many adventures, challenges, and situations that each of you will have to face as you continue your journey. The steps that we will take will not be defined by high school com commonalities, but the knowledge and information that we have attained throughout our education. 
Failure is inevitable, but succumbing and giving up is not. It is merely just another step to take throughout your journey. There will be those who will tell you that you will never be able to achieve anything and that you are too worthless to engage in the fruits of success. But I am here to tell you right now that anything is possible. You can do all that you set your mind to regardless of your background. I see a class filled with progressives, humanitarians, reformers, and influencers. Today we are facing a multitude of challenges in a society that lacks equality and is consumed with bigotry and hatred. We live in a world where peaceful protests over issues of racism are countered with systematic violence and hatred, while uninformed people protesting with guns are forgiven and systematically justified. Be certain that diversity and knowledge are the key to progression. Racism must be eradicated. The environment must be saved. Education must be further spread. I know that these statements are far easier said than done, but I know that our class can accomplish such reform as we head out into the world. As we begin our lives, we must remember, anything and everything is possible through means of hard work, love, and dedication. The future is bright, let's get to it. And please never forget, as Martin Luther King Jr. once stated, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Greetings family, friends, dignitaries, and graduates, and welcome to the first ever Ceres High School virtual graduation ceremony. Many of you are watching this commencement on your computers, televisions, and phones from right here in Ceres, and others from all over the state, and even from all over the country. Some will be tuning in as we premiere this video for the first time. Others will be watching days later. Though we may be separated by space and time, I hope that as you watch, one thing comes through your screen loud and clear. Each of the 158 staff members of Ceres High School is extremely proud of the graduating class of 2020. Needless to say, these are unusual times. It feels like eons ago that we all excitedly walked through that giant inflated bulldog on the first day of the school year. Now it seems like all we hear about is shelter in place this and social distancing that. Please don't let the circumstances of our times overshadow the bright light of your many and varied accomplishments. Despite the way the school year is ending, over half of you have achieved a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. 89% of the class of 2020 will be continuing their education at a UC, CSU, community college, or trade school. This fall, we will have students attending colleges as far north as Humboldt State and as far south as UC San Diego. We will have students venturing out of state to colleges in Idaho, Ohio, and beyond. Collectively, the class of 2020 will have earned over $100,000 in scholarship money. We are also equally proud of the 11% of graduating seniors who have chosen to serve our country and local communities representing every branch of the United States military and the workforce. Our seniors have shined brightly beyond the classroom walls as well. On the field, girls soccer was undefeated in the regular season and fought their way to round two of the playoffs. Both girls water polo and boys soccer qualified for playoffs and Joshua Ofisa qualified for masters wrestling. Recently, Vianne Perez and Elias Saldana were recognized for their academic excellence and their athletic achievement as WAC scholar athletes. In our music department, the winter percussion was able to hold on to their title this season and drumline captain Oscar Barajas led the charge at every football game and rally. Our seniors showcased their talents on stage as well. Who can forget the all-star performances of Michael Chadwick and Alexis Torres in A Streetcar Named Desire, or Hassan Imran's role as George in Of Mice and Men? Though it may be small, our ag program sure is mighty. 
Together, our ag students have invested over 500 hours on ag-related projects this year alone. Among our graduates are 30 ag program completers, with 70% of them being in the program all four years. 2020 also saw Alyssa Clendaniel and Bailey Schoen receive their state FFA degree, which is the highest degree granted by the state of California FFA. You all gave back to our local community too, from leadership's canned food drives to our choir club writing letters to Santa, from hours of volunteer work at fall festivals to blood drives, to our academy students installing solar panels for working families, you seniors have positively impacted the people, in, the people of Ceres in ways that you can be proud of. Class of 2020, I hope that we will be able to give you and your families the experience of a traditional ceremony. But a graduation ceremony is just a moment in time. While the pomp and circumstance sure is fun, the real value is in the hard work that you put in to get here and the lessons that you've learned along the way. In life, you're going to encounter your fair share of challenges, heartache, and disappointment. My sincere wish, wish for each of you is this, that each victory you attain, whether it's graduating from college, completing boot camp, earning your first promotion at work, or starting your family, that each of those achievements from this point forward is made all the more sweeter because of this experience. In closing, I want to thank you all for a truly memorable year. Memorable not necessarily because of how it's ending, but for the positive impact that you've made on your school community through your actions every day. You are now and always will be a member of an elite club who can say, it's a great day to be a Bulldog. At this time, I would like to introduce Superintendent of Ceres Unified School District, Dr. Scott Siegel, for the presentation of the Ceres High School Class of 2020. I am honored to congratulate the students, parents, and staff of the 2020 graduating class of Ceres High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Ceres High School and the Ceres Unified School District, I certify that the 2020 graduating class of Ceres High School has met the district and state requirements for graduation. Therefore, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to present to the Board of Trustees the 2020 graduating class of Ceres High School for the awarding of diplomas. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Board President Mike Welsh, who will accept the class. Good evening, and thank you for watching our graduation. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the parents and the family members for your support and encouragement of our graduates and our staff. Also, I'd like to thank the staff for their hard work and dedication and for a job well done. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Ceres Unified School District, we are proud to accept the graduates of the 2020 class of Ceres High School for the awarding of diplomas. It is now time to begin the portion of the ceremony we've all been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas. Shahira Harrison. Natalia Carranza.
Anna Hernandez. Andrew Delgado Smith. Sergio Vasquez. Lucas Guillory. Andres Villanueva. Hector Lozano Valencia. Bianca Agaristi. Garrett Williams. Daniel Ramirez. Chloe Davis. Michael Tavares Cantu. Brandon Llewellyn. Samid Kaloon. Jose Montanez. Diana Jasso Ariaga. Denise Campos. Hayden Swanson. Brianne Petty. Jordan Williams. Roxana Bonilla. Noelia Gonzalez. Diego Lopez. Colton Johnson. Valentino Esparza. Marissa Prestia. Isabella Curry. J. 
Jesse Hildreth. Jocelyn Knight. Devin Aragon. Miguel Alvarado. Samantha Bustamante. Rebecca Franco Mangskow. Emily Wolf. Peyton Phillips. Brianna Moran. Mia Normstrom. Gohera Abdo. Crystal Gonzalez. Ariana Medina. Monica Serrano. Germanjeet Baya. Maximus Solorio. Brandon Trujillo. Nathan Saldivar. Jacqueline Sosa. Danielle Silva. Daniel Carranza Gomez. Aiden Gomez Navarro. Mario Solis. Christopher Perez. Emily Guzman. Fabian Amparo Partida. Jose Amaya Martinez. Brian Arenas Rios. Christian Sosokan.
Isabel McMurray. Isaias Velarde Mendoza. Miranda Miranda Guerrero. Diego Zavalza. Alondra Cordova Munoz. Joshua Ofisa. Miranda Laranaga. Kaylee Hunt. Isais Jimenez. Matthew Avesha. Alexis Negrete. Maria Ortega. Alexis Alvarez. Jesus Nungare. Gabriela Ambriz. Brian Estrada. Alexia Montiel. Emily Pena. Will Emmons. Alexandra Lugo Diaz de Leon. Carlos Fee. Franco de la Cruz Ramirez. Monica Esparza Diaz. Sylvester Maldonado. Rita Gazala. Nicholas Dunn. Julio Nunes Rivera. Hector Guajardo. Liberty Disney.
Efraim Brito. Manuel Pimentel. Jose Arturo Landeras. Manmeet Singh. Nelia Brima. Porfirio Rodriguez. Angelique Sandoval Jimenez. Savannah Cabano. Sophia Hadwick. Jaslyn Gonzalez. Miranda Topete. Viene Perez. Sergio Cuevas. Diego Arguello. Hugo Mercado Padilla. Alexander Miles. Ulysses Ortega Silva. Gladys Hernandez Telez. Sabrina Arroyo. Bailey Shawin. Alyssa Clendaniel. Angel Ramos. Carlos Ramirez. Shahil Kishore. Oscar Loiza. Jacqueline Estrada. Oscar Barajas. Elizabeth Palomino. Jose Garcia. Ernesto Reyes. Jordan Andrada.
Giovanni Castillo. Ariana Madriga. Marissa Acevedo. Yuritsi Serrano Jaimez. Mauricio Valenzuela. Gabriel Flores. David Flores. Ethan John. Pablo Duran. Brandon Virgil. Mitzi Matus Diaz. Michael Chadwick. Derek Haro. Taylor Smith. Lauren Cooper. Elijah Santos. Paige Adams. Ashlyn Hot. Adeline Aguirre. Anissa Moreno. Dilpreet Sidhu. Jennifer Arlana Enriquez. Yana Kucher. Miriam Sanchez. Mari Carmen Sanchez. Jasmine Murphy. Vanessa Thomas. Karimen Panigua Valdez. Glenn Ramirez. Omar Rosales. Omar 
Olivia Dunn. Brian Ramos. Luis Medina. Mariana Ramirez Cabrera. Valerie Ramos. Walaya Salem. Jocelyn Torres Gonzalez. Vivian Ayala. Amaya Lopez. Liliana Castillo. Antonio Valencia. Grecia Sanchez. Montserrat Serrato. Andres Montez Ruiz. Vanessa Salas Castillo. Israel Marin. Hatsmani Gonzalez Navarro. Janeth Ramirez Del Rio. Eileen Perez. Elizabeth Soto. Brandon Lopez. Roberto Palacio de la Riva. Tanya Garfield. Leilani Germanin Lucero. Christopher Madariaga. Nicholas Vasquez. Abisai Alvarez. Brandon Sandoval. Leo Juarez. Francisco Cruz. Enrique Pinedo. Jesse Cruz.
Miguel Canales Chavez. Braulio Mayorga. Diego Fernandez. Isaís Carion. Roman Wells. Alexis Torres. Alexia De Los Reyes. Bridget Batista. Yuraj Shoker. Maria Aguayo. Enrique Lopez. Joanna Torres. Jacqueline Rodriguez. Ivan Abreu. Ilian Acevedo Balderas. Jose Ayala Lopez. Jason Jacobo. Antonio Ruiz Perez. Siriana Gudino. Xavian Chafino. Juanita Tomeo Vasquez. Joshua Pernetti. Jillian Jimenez. David Valencia. Angelica Mendez. Rachel Cuevas. Josue Portillo Lopez. Annalise DeBolt. Katarina Figueroa.
Sarai Pineda. Ileana Medina. Andres Casillas. Amanda Berenmeyer. Azelia Juarez Serrano. Emilio Molina Lopez. Hassan Imran. Teresa Dennis. Alondra Flores Cardenas. Jafet Lopez. Daniela Nunez Cardenas. Leslie Arroyo. Fernando Gonzalez. Harnor Kaur. Elijah Vasquez. Teresa Sanchez. Mariana Bolanos Aleman. Ashley Mercado. Andres Ramirez. Ivan Ruiz. Juliana Velasquez. Miguel Prado. Cristobal Cruz Tirado. Jacob Rodriguez. Fernando Sosa. Isaiah Alcorn. Julian Penaloza. Ignacio Madrigal. Aaron Delgado. Moises Montalvo Vargas.
Marissa Moore. Vivian Rodriguez. Emily Carlene Marquez. Mark Razzo. Alexandra Quinones. Valentin Moreno. Yurisa Villalobos Prado. Dominic Magdaleno. Thomas Palacios. Yesenia Brambila. Elias Castillo Gallegos. Andres Madrid. Alan Thigh. Michael Bogus. Ismail Saldana. Giovanni Alvarez. Nicole Woods. Jose Flores Quezada. Magdalena Asensio. Emilio Miraz. Jaime Bravo. Nayeli Manada. Ashleen Shahil. Veronica Alvarez. Isabel Vizcaino. Rebecca De Leon. Robert Mahan Euler. Destiny Page. Michael Gonzalez. Diana Del Real. Emmanuel Hermosillo Landeros. Daquan Smith.
Malachi Shimon. Ashley Mendoza. Yahida Monreal. Karen Hernandez. Maya Robinson. Justin Prestridge. Jonathan David Marshall. Angelina Torres Quinones. Kaliani Hermosillo. Carlos Espindola. Heidi Artiaga Bravo. Jessica Lazaro. Alex Flores. Cesar Alvarez. McKenna Reyna. Heriberto Corona Mejia. Guadalupe Ochoa. Jimmy Taez. Brianna Torres. Angelita Devincenzi. Miguel Cruz. Yvonne Gonzalez. Jasmarie Martinez. Alexis Guzman. Alexander Palacios. Mosley Muhammad. Nancy Rodriguez Martinez. Kiana Garcia. Victor Hurtado. Sonald Lal. Nayeli Garcia.
Fernando Madrigal. Kian Fang Day. Mason Foster. Liliana Solis. Montrell Block. Jasmine Fumatu. Jordan Browning. Johan Vega. Cesar Gonzalez Quiroz. Brianna Falipuono. Daniela Lopez. Daniel Romo. Juan Duarte. Crystal Ontiveros. Kaylee Duran. Angel Figueroa Perez. Aurora Johnson. Gabriela Gadica Lizola. Delilah Hernandez. Esther Torres. Will the class of 2020 please rise? Graduates, at this time, I invite you to please move your tassel to the left side. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the Series High School graduating class of 2020. We will conclude tonight's ceremony with a message from Series Unified School District's Board of Trustees. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Yeah, you did it. And today, your hard work has paid off. Congratulations. We couldn't be more proud of you. Felicidades por su graduación, clase del 2020. Dream big. Keep working hard. And always keep learning. We can't wait to see what your future holds. Congratulations, class of 2020. 